name is Jess and welcome back to Little Miss Lorraine. Today I wanted to share with you what I purchased at Spotlight over the weekend. Um, they had some really amazing sales on including 50% off sale items so I managed to pick up quite a few bargains. Uh, so if you want to see what I purchased then make sure you keep watching. Starting off with some of the less interesting items, I picked up another embroidery hoop. I actually have a few of these already but they were too small for the project that I just finished so I picked up this one, this is an 8 inch. Uh, these are really good if you've never used these before, people uh, use them to display their embroidery on the wall so really really cute. I just finished the cutest project for this so it might even be something that I'm adding to the shop soon so make sure you keep an eye out on social media for photos of what I put in here. Really easy, you just unscrew the gold bit here and then the small circle pops out so you put your embroidery over this circle pop this circle back on top and then tighten it and it makes the work really tight um, you can use this to display or while you're doing your embroidery but I actually prefer to use um, another thing that I have for my embroidery so I tend to just display mine in this one Next up is this really handy cotton spool display from Semco. Uh, it holds up to 60 threads which is amazing, I don't have that many yet but my collection is certainly growing. Um, I've looked at them for a little while now but I haven't had anywhere in my craft room to display them. Uh, so after jigging around a few things um, over the last few weeks I've now worked out where I can put it. Um, really really handy so you just pop the little feet out and you can sit it on um, wherever you want or you can fold it away and just have it um, more propped on the wall I'm sure that you could also put this up on the wall if you really wanted to um, but I'll be displaying mine with the legs um, yeah so like I said 60 cotton spools on there so that is amazing so as my collection grows I'll add more on to moving on to the most exciting purchases of the day I managed to pick up four fabrics uh, which I'm really excited about. So first up is probably the most boring one. It's just this natural homespun cotton. Uh, it's for some stuff for the shop so make sure you're keeping an eye out on social media for some new additions soon. Uh, I love this colour. It's not like a white white but it's not a cream. And um, They have this in a seeded version as well which is really really pretty but didn't work for what I needed it for. So. This was only $8 a metre, so really cheap, um, but very good quality. When you feel the fabric, it's yeah, like you can just tell that it's really good quality fabric. So really, really happy with that purchase. I also managed to pick up some of this black and white scuba knit. I think I've had a bit of luck with my scuba knits lately because this one was also on the clearance table, as was the burgundy colour that I got in my last haul video. Uh, so this was $4 a metre. Um, it was $8 reduced down to 4 So I think I got, I think it ended up being about 2.5 metres. Um, I just got what was on the roll because I originally wanted two and there was about this much left over. So. Um, really happy with this. I'm planning on making some leggings out of this and possibly a skirt or a dress. Um, I just really loved the pattern. Black and white goes with anything. I can wear it to work or um, the leggings I'll sort of wear as more like workout leggings. So really excited to put those projects into use. And like I said um, last time, scuba knit is a really, really good quality knit. So I'm so excited that I've been able to find two lots of amazing scuba knit for $4 a metre. Um, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Next up is this gorgeous uh, velvet. It's not like the cheapy yucky velvet that we used to have back in the 90s, but uh, it's a really nice velvet. I will be using this for something really exciting coming to the shop soon, so again, make sure you keep an eye out on social media for that. I'm planning to do a few prototypes tomorrow, so because it's a long weekend, yay! Um, so I'm sure I'll have some preview pictures up. Um, again, really good quality. This was in the clearance remnant bins. Now, if you've never seen the clearance remnant rem bin, sorry, I definitely recommend you check them out. Um, our store usually only has them in the furnishing sections. I have found a couple uh, of good things in the normal fabric section, but the furnishing section is where you can get the biggest bargains. So I always find things that I can use. Uh, you do have to sort of rummage through them, but I have found so many bargains by going through there. So I was really excited when I found this in there. Um, I have this also in a black, which I found in the remnant bins. But yeah, this I think cost me $9 for a meter, and it's usually $25, so really cheap. Um, and I just really love the feel of this on the colour. I was so excited when I found it in this colour. Um, and that was 
probably the best thing in the remnant bin today. Like I said, it's a bit hit and miss and you do have to rummage through there, but I definitely recommend you check it out each time you go uh, because they're always adding new things in there. And last but definitely not least is probably my favourite purchase for the day. This one um, I used my 40% off voucher for, so if you're a VIP member, uh, which if you're not, definitely sign up. It's free and you get so many bargains and so many discounts and some awesome vouchers. Um, so in the past I've bought um, my mannequin or um, you know sort of bigger things with it, uh, but this time I didn't really have anything massive that I needed to get. Um, but I found this gorgeous floral knit um, in the quilting section. Again, this is going to be used for something for Little Miss Lorraine, so keep an eye out um, on social media. Uh, but I just couldn't put this down. It was $20 a meter, so quite expensive. I'm not usually one to buy something at that price unless it's, you know, really, really good quality. I mean, this is good quality, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so I decided to use my 40% off voucher for this one, so it ended up costing me $12 a meter, which is amazing. So I got a couple of meters of this one, I love the floral print, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the colours, um, they had one similar to this but on like a creamier background, which I didn't like as much. Um, but they had some really nice florals in this year, which I'm very partial to. So. I'm really happy that I could use my 40% off voucher for that one because I probably wouldn't have purchased it otherwise. And that's all for my video this week. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I purchased at Spotlight. There'll be a few videos like this on my channel, uh, so if you think that that's something that you are interested in watching, um, make sure you subscribe. Also, please hit the like button if you liked this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!